So I'm Charlotte Allender, we're in the drying room of the UK Vegetable Gene Bank on the Wellsbourne campus of the University of Warwick. So here we manage a seed collection of um, almost 14,000 samples uh, which represents diversity in uh, vegetable crops. What we're doing is preparing um, a backup of some of our samples to send to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a global facility which is a repository for crop genetic diversity to keep it safe in case of global catastrophes such as climate change or, um, or global war or um, some local disaster which might impact seed collections in the gene banks themselves. So we'll sow the seed in our glass houses and get the seedlings grown on. They will eventually be potted on um, into their, and put in their final destinations when they're, uh, for where they're going to um, set seed. For most of the crops we need to introduce pollinators, so we use flies to make sure there's good cross-pollination amongst the plants. We keep the plants isolated from one another in terms of um, making sure different varieties of the same crop don't cross um, to make sure each seed sample retains its genetic integrity. Um, once the pollination has happened, the seeds um, will be allowed to ripen in the glass houses. They'll be harvested, uh, brought in, um, cleaned up, so threshed and the plant debris removed. The seed will actually come back into this room to dry off because to keep the seed alive at minus 20 degrees C, you need to have very dry seed. So in this room, the seed will dry down to 5% moisture content by weight, um, and then it will be packaged in foil pouches and put in the minus 20. And we can take subsamples of that collection to send on to places like Svalbard. Most of the seed that's going over on this occasion are, um, were collected from the UK. So we have some very local seeds, so there's um, a cauliflower called Lemington cauliflower which was bred um, by a local man in the 1800s. We also have samples of seed from the Vale of Evesham which is a, um, quite a fam famous vegetable growing area and has a whole lot of varieties developed there. So we have some uh, Brussels sprouts called Roos Lench for example which is named after one of the villages there. Um, we also have samples of wild species related to crops which have been collected from within the UK and in fact some from Warwickshire so we're sending some wild carrot which was collected not far from here as well.